Welcome back to another video and in today I'll be showcasing how to create projectile, projectiles in Minecraft and these projectiles uh, like it goes basically anywhere we and it goes basically anywhere you face and it's like uh, like a very accurate projectile so the first of all the projectile looks like this so when I activate my fishing rod it will summon out a beam as you can see you can look down up, you can look anywhere and it'll basically shoot out where you're looking as you can see and it's like very accurate and uh, this is very nice you don't really have to use a fishing rod to activate this realistically speaking you can actually use something else because this is the you see this command right here this is the initiator of the the whole sequence so you could probably like put this to something else maybe if you want to drop an item you could do like uh, iron block for example then you can change this to name equals to iron block and I'll, I'll do with iron blocks instead and so every time you drop an iron block it'll shoot out a beam so you can basically replace this to anything you want but today I'll be showcasing it with a fishing rod because uh, it's quite simple and yeah after you know the concept of how to do this you should probably be, uh, probably be able to do all the other methods or methods or uh, do different stuff with it uh, make it activate on different like items or different yeah methods just like uh, what I showed in my previous video crouch detection you can actually combine this with, with the you can combine this with crouch detection as well so you can uh, it can get activated uh, activated every time you crouch so yeah please uh, sh check out my previous video the crouch detection video and yeah let's get straight into this tutorial so first of all I can actually copy these you need uh, one um, always active repeating command block and then you need one two three four five six seven eight chain command blocks unconditional and you place them just like this in a tower all the arrows have to face each other this is as tall as each other no. just like this oh shit that doesn't look too tall but yeah just like this, you place them all, all the arrows facing each other. The the bottom one is always active, just like this. And you basically have the setup of the commands. And it's very important that these arrows are actually facing each other or else it won't work. And then if we move on uh, to the commands, first command, repeat always active. Slash execute as a E type is the fishing hook. Uh, at a S run slash execute as a A. Uh, at at s run slash summon boat or just summon boat then uh, the, yeah this one just summons the boat as it says out of the fishing hook it summons the boat and we have this one execute as a e type because the fishing hood uh, hook at s run slash execute at a at s run slash tp at e type because the boat c equals to one and r equals to two and then three like uh cones minus one facing at s so basically the c equals to one it targets a singular boat close to you to the player or you and uh, the ball has to be in with a radius of two blocks and uh, it will basically tp the boat um one block behind you and it's facing you and then we have this one next one Execute as e at e type to fishing hook at s run slash execute at a at s positioned minus one or three squiggly lines in the uh, minus one in y run tag at e type to boat c equals to one or equals to three add ammo so this uh, this one basically just adds ammo the tag ammo to the boat so we can actually um uh like differentiate between uh, between a, a normal boat and a shooting boat if you know what I'm saying <laughs> so I can place a normal boat and I can also shoot so you can dif differentiate between the two but anyways just type this in then next one the fourth one uh, uh, slash score replace add a e type to boat tag tag equals to ammo ms21 this one just gives a scoreboard to the uh, boat this one's going to be important for for like killing the boat so it doesn't reach too far and just flies into abyss the abyss but this is the next one 
slash xqie type equals to boat, tag equals to ammo, scores equals to ms2 equals to 1, and at at s run tp at s, uh, three uh, squiggly lines, uh, or 1000 blocks on the air basically. Uh, and then we have this one. This one just teleports the boat forwards. Yep. And same, or no, this one. This one basically just puts a particle uh, so you can actually see the boat moving because it'll be, you can't really see it. It's invisible if you don't have this. So you could, of course, leave it be invisible if you want. But for this video, at least, I have the particles so you can actually see the beam moving forwards. But yeah, basically, just type this in. And then we have killer e type because the fishing hook. So you like it resets like this so it doesn't spam. Of course, you don't have to have this. You can have it spam if you really want to. And then uh, the last one is just it kills all boats when it has the score of 130. And um, actually, I'll be showcasing something you can do with this beam uh, in another world of mine. So let's get straight in. Yes, I'm here in another world and showcasing. Uh, in, uh, a little bit more of what you can do with this uh, like projectile, uh, projectile uh, command blocks like function. So in this world, I have made guns. As you can see, when I hold this fishing rod, it will showcase how much ammo I have, and I can shoot out of it. As you can see, I can stop. As you see, this is basically what it does. I can summon like a mob, summon ravager, and it does do damage. I can reload it. Boom, reload, and then like, boom. And uh, this one doesn't go through walls at all, it actually stops so it doesn't go through walls. So as you can see, if I do this, as you can see, no bullets went through here. And yeah, this is uh, basically like what you can make with the projectiles. And we have different method, different types. We have like, a pistol. I made like a pistol, but does less damage and less ammo. And then, like you can also make it like a shotgun and stuff like that. So yeah. And I'll be all. I actually have some some more I will be showcasing in another world of mine. So let's get. Yes, some in another world, and this world I'll be showcasing a different method of uh, activation on the projectile because in the previous examples I've shown you uh, I have used fishing rods to activate the like shooting or, what, or, or whatever you want to call it but in this video I actually oh, this video in this world uh, I actually did it with um, I did it with a uh, with crouch detection so if we crouch and I, as you can see it's charging up we gotta wait till it says ready and then we have to uncrouch when it says ready. So boom, we uncrouch, and as you can see, the beam shoots out. And this is uh, you can look straight up if you really want to. This is the exact same thing we've shown in the previous uh, worlds uh, with the fishing rod. So yeah, you can look any direction, any any angle, and it will it will shoot that way. So as you can see, this is a perfect example of you don't really have to use a fishing rod. You can use uh, any other uh, methods. And uh, oh, I got insufficient mana, as you can see top left there. Uh, but this, um, if you want to know, uh, know, I want to know how to do something like this. Please check out my previous videos. I got plenty of videos on crouch detection and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah. But this is basically it for the video. I do hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And if it was helpful, please uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.